Welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. I'm pretty new here. Uh, this is my first video that I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing like an easy everyday uh, look. Uh, if you want to just see how I got this look, just keep on watching. All right, so I'm going to start by um, just priming my face. And so for that, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Hydra Genius. Um, so this is actually really good for normal to dry skin and my skin is pretty dry. Um, so I'm just gonna be putting that on all over my face. And this actually feels kind of like cooling and it smells like aloe, which is really nice. I'm not really a fan of like heavy creams. So this is actually really good in the summer, but um, I think this is actually gonna help me um, through the fall as well. Uh, next, I'm going to be going in with my favorite uh, foundation, so for that I'm using the L'Oreal 24 Hour Foundation Infallible Pro Glow, and that's in the color Nude Beige 203. So for this, you really don't need a lot, um, but it actually gives just like a really good like radiant glow. My skin's actually pretty clear right now, so I don't really need that much, but I'm probably just gonna put a little bit on so um, that should work and for this you don't really need to use like any tools with it I'm just gonna be using my fingers so get my hair out of the way it actually doesn't really like smell like anything which is nice I'm take that down my neck and I also just put that on my eyelids as well, just to cover any veins. So I'm pretty happy with that. Next, I'm gonna be going in with some concealer and what I'm using right now, it's actually one of my favorite uh, concealers. I've gone through quite a few tubes of it. Um, it's the Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer and I have the color 125 Fair. I really just like this because it has a little can't really see it but it's a little brush tip and you just squeeze it out which is really nice so I'm just going to put that all over my face a pretty bad dark circle so I would like to cover that I'm just in around my nose On my chin and just a little bit on my forehead just to brighten it up a little bit and this concealer is actually pretty cool because it actually does match your skin tone like if you go in and apply it um, after you've already put it in an area you can see it kind of changing to match your skin tone which is really nice so I'm just gonna be taking um, a sponge here I think this is from Quo actually from shoppers I'm just gonna dot that all under my under eye I might even just take it under my eyelid just to get some extra coverage there might just put a little bit more on my nose actually the foundation I don't think I put enough on there so I'm just gonna put it just down the line of my nose mm, I have a little blemish right here too I'm pretty happy with that. Next, I'm going to be going in with a MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, this, actually, this stuff actually lasts a really long time. I think I've had this for about two years. Not really sure how long you're supposed to keep this. 
um, before it expires, but I'm just gonna still use it. It was pretty expensive, so. This is really good if you um, are wearing your makeup just all day and you want your eyeshadow uh, to stay put. I take that right up to the brow. It's pretty good. Next, I'm going to powder my face. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I have the shade 15 Light. When I was actually at um, Shoppers getting this, it's kind of a dark color. So I'm just going to be going in with a powder brush. Um, this is from Quo. It's part of like their Rose Gold collection. Um, I'm just going to put that mostly focusing on the eyes. And I'm not really adding a lot of powder, um, so I'm just going to lightly just dust that all over my face, my forehead. So my memory card filled up. Um, I think where I last left off was um, I was powdering my face with a Maybelline loose powder. Luckily, I didn't get too far into it. I just did my brows. So for that, I was using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I have the color Espresso. For longest time, I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Micro Brow, I think is what it's called. But that retails for like $30 in Canada. And I was actually watching one of Tati's videos, and she suggested the, uh, the Micro Brow Pencil by NYX. Uh, I've just been using this ever since and honestly I don't really notice a difference. Uh, like the pigmentation is really nice. It has that waxy consistency to it which is really good. Um, really really love this one. So I just went in with my brows with that. Um, just small hair like strokes which is the usual. Um, and then to set my brows. Hmm. I don't know where it went. And then to set my brows I used the Essence Make Me Brow. Um, and I have the color brownie brows. I really like this because it just has like a like a matte uh, cover to it, so your brows aren't really shiny, which is really nice. And then it has like little fiber, so uh, kind of fills in any uh, gaps that you may have in your brow. And then afterwards, I just bronzed my face up a little bit, and for that, I use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I have the color Light Bronzer. Um, if you're more on the fair side uh, for your face, this is actually really good. Um, it doesn't make it like too dark, which is really nice, but it does kind of um, hollow out your cheeks if you do want to use it as a contour. Alright, so next I'm going to be going in with the, uh, the NYX uh, Taupe High Definition Blush. Um, I actually really like this because uh, it's just more cool toned. I'm uh, not really a fan of like warm contours um, on my face and you can actually see that I just cracked it in the pan which is great. So I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques uh, contour brush and just kind of like lightly dip into the pan, kind of uh, blow off any excess. And this you don't really take very far down your face um, or else it'll look really muddy so just kind of keep it um, concentrated um, more towards your hairline and like a little bit in so it actually looks so pretty and same thing on my other side yeah it's so pretty and um, I kind of do my jawline you don't have to do that if you don't want to it's not mandatory um, but I'm just gonna take it down a little bit kind of curves it out a little bit Kind of gives like a nice shadow underneath and then um, now on to blush so I'm gonna be using the Milani baked uh, blush in luminoso um, this is supposed to be a dupe for the NARS orgasm blush uh, it's actually so pretty it just kind of gives like a really nice like pearlescent uh, color on your cheeks I'm just gonna be going in with um, my blush brush from Quo. Um, now this is really pigmented so um, I wouldn't go in with it too heavy handed, um, kind of like tap off or uh, blow off any excess and just 
kind of put it towards the apples of my cheeks. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it just looks really pretty. And I kind of like pull it up towards uh, the outer part of my face. Oh, it just looks so pretty. I love it. Now I'm going to be going in with some highlighter. So with that, I'm using the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. So, just can you see that? That looks so pretty. It actually looks really good with uh, the blush as well. Because it has like gold pigments in it. And I just take that up my brow. And then again up my brow. I kind of like it like along my forehead too. You don't have to do this. Down my nose. And a little bit on my cupid's bow. It actually looks really good with like dark lipstick. Just a little bit of highlighter on your cupid's bow. Like a little bit on my chin. So that's that. And now for the eyes. So I'm going to kind of keep it... Uh, pretty simple today um, sometimes I do like wing liner and um, kind of like a smoky eye but um, sometimes I just can't really be bothered in the morning um, so what I'm gonna be using is um, the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette um, I pretty much use this on a daily basis it's just really good the colors are actually really awesome in it um, you got some like warm colors, um, some cooler colors at the bottom. I pretty much use all of them. Um, really good buy if you're thinking about getting it. I definitely would. Um, so I'm just going to be going in uh, with the color Commando. It's just a really nice like transition color. Not sure if you can really see it on camera, but it just adds some definition to the eye. Oh, and I forgot, I'm also using um, just this brush that came in, the Naked Smoky Palette. Um, I pretty much just use this for like most of my eyeshadow looks. So, just doing the same on my other eye. You don't really have to be precise with this. Um, just make sure you blend it out really good. And I mean, if you wanted to keep it simple too, you could just throw on like a, like a shimmer on top of it and take that color along your lash line um, and then kind of call it a day. Kind of go in with that color as well, my bottom lashes. Next, I'm gonna be using the color Lockout. Um, it's just like a really nice warm tone brown color. Um, you can use this on like your outer V, um, but I kind of just concentrate it along my crease and kind of towards the edges. I don't know, I think for fall, um, like warm colors really complement your skin. So like that. I'm going to be taking that same color uh, lockout just on my lower lashes again. It just looks so pretty. It just kind of like ties everything together nicely. And next, um, just for all over my lid, I'm going to be using um, the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Amber Rush. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, for the price of it, I think it was like $5. Um, I've had this for a while and I dropped it and so it's all, I'm not sure if you can see it, I don't really want to tip it over, but it's all pretty much dust at this point. Um, I know that there are like some hacks out there that you can um, put your like eyeshadows together again. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. So for that I'm just going to be putting it all over my lid but mostly keeping it towards the center, like inner two-thirds. You can use the brush for this, but I just find my hand um, just picks up more 